Hey guys, as some of you might know, I'm a tester for Grip, so I know some things that others don't. And in this video, I'll tell you what's coming in the next updates, what will most likely be changed and what I personally would like to see implemented in the future. I just hope Chris won't rape me for spoiling some of the things. So, starting off with what's coming in the next update. A new weapon, Stingers. If you played Roll Cage, then you most likely remember the Driller, a weapon that shoots three rockets that fly in a spiral fashion. It's one of the most iconic weapons in the series, although it was changed a bit in the next installment, Roll Cage Stage 2. It still had the same idea behind it, but this time it shot three rockets, plus additional five when stacked. In grip, it will look a bit different. By that I mean, as you can see in the video, rockets won't shoot simultaneously, but one after another. And they will still turn like in the original game. That's the only difference. Basically, it's a shotgun that instead of bullets spews a barrage of micro missiles. A new power up, Stasis. This one is a bit weird, and there's a chance that it won't be implemented at all. Do you remember Time Warp from Roll Cage? Yeah, it's exactly that. A power up that slows vehicles for everybody except the player. The only thing slowed down will be the vehicles, nothing else. It will shut down all of the forces, acceleration, downforce, etc. and putting them back up again but also retaining inertia. Which would mean, if you use the turbo right before getting hit with stasis, you will come out of it going at a pretty crazy speed, depending on where you were with the turbo. A new car, Saigon Eversore. Not a lot is known about this car, except its name, its class, which by the way is going to be a medium, and that it's going to be from Saigon, an alien manufacturer that prefers control over firepower. I personally haven't seen any 3D models or concept art, so I can't say anything about it. Improved, less frustrating EMP. If you've been watching some of my videos, then you know why EMP is being changed. It's annoying as fuck. It slows your car while bumping the back of it up. And it's even worse when you're in the air. It flips your car in a random direction. Yeah, it's not that fun. On top of that, it spawns too much in multiplayer. That kills the whole fun. New EMP won't bump you up, it won't even slow your car. Instead, it will disable your weapons, so it's going to be more of a defensive power-up than annoying piece of shit. The return of Lido 5 Islands track. I'm so stoked about this. I loved this track in the early stages of development, which you're seeing right now. As you can see, it's really open that gives a lot of possibilities, which you'll have to find for yourself. A new track on Jetra. What? Gotta talk with Chris about it. A new city track on Orbital Prime. When I said that I'm stoked about Islands, oh boy, how wrong I was. I actually seen how this track will play out, and oh boy, there's gonna be some crazy shit in it. Believe me, you won't be disappointed. A new arena on Jatra. Cool, but is anybody playing Deathmatch? Like, for real. Perks in multiplayer new tires, rims, etc. By perks, Chris meant parts. They won't give you any additional stats, but hey, more customization. Fuck yeah. You've probably noticed that Vintage cars have no rims at all. Same with tires. Those are the parts that are going to be added in the next patch. Maybe on top of that we will get front or back bumpers, exhausts or something. Whoops, I guess I shouldn't spoil too much. Player stats tracking. That's self-explanatory, I guess. There's nothing to add here. Player level progression in multiplayer. Well, you'll win, you'll level up, easy. I'm not sure if that's the ranking system we were talking about or just the preparations for it. And now let's get to the things that I would like to see. Better vehicular destruction. I need to see wheels flying off. Bodies of the cars getting dented after a crash and being ripped to shreds after colorful explosions. And yeah, all of that is confirmed except dents and colorful explosions. But the rest is coming to grip in the future, so yay. Better environmental destruction. Self-explanatory. Right now environmental destruction is turned off simply because it's not finished. But I hope that we will see some giant things falling over. For example this bridge on transport. Or this thing. Or this building here. Or this one. Or this building here. Or those spikes here. So many possibilities! More customization. Shit. I would love this game to turn into Underground 3 Grip Edition. It won't happen, but man can dream, goddammit! More details. In the early version of the game, Dominator, which was the only vehicle at the time, had flaps that after using an Assassin or Scorpion were opening up and deploying said missiles. Right now they are non-existent, but I'm sure they will come back. 
It's all in the detail. Item stacking. That's going to be implemented in the future for sure. Pretty much the same thing as in stage 2. You got a turbo, then you drive through another item, and if it's another turbo it will be added to the previous one boosting its effect. Same with rockets, shields, etc. More rockage inspired vehicle designs. Have you seen Vintec Rogue? That ass is thick as fuck! We need some more design inspired by original material. Just imagine driving the Unity Genesis looking car in grip. My dick can get only so erect. Less invisible walls. Am I the only one that is pissed off about this? Like, for real. This is going on for too long. And I guess that's a wrap. That's everything that I have to say right now. I'll probably revisit that video later. After the update or maybe after the game is finished. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll leave a comment. Tell me what you would like to see in Grip. I will send those comments to Chris so maybe your idea will get implemented. Leave a like, leave a dislike, I don't give a fuck and... See ya!